guys what's going everybody and welcome back to the channel today what we are doing is reacting to the most cracked call of duty plays of all time uh this video comes in from breaking point i will have this video link in the description without further ado let's go and get into this he this is a 1v3 it. oh, oh. sog out <sighs> gosh man dash he was so such a fun rookie to watch in that game just like every time that he would do something it was just like we'd never seen anything like that before speaking of rookies he was cracked man versus paris legion as well oh oh this keeps going oh that's a great little th third person point of view right there too oh is this money cheating is this Money Cheen? Oh, I heard Money Cheen's making his comeback, by the way. And for good reason. I remember this. Oh, I thought this was G2. This was, this was an E6 to start this year off? Oh my gosh. Hmm. That is some prime Damon Barlow, ladies and gentlemen. Sheesh. Now nah, I missed this game. I, I know exactly what this play is. This is a nasty, nasty play, bro. I miss Naga. I miss Naga. Honestly, just that whole Black Ops 3 season was just amazing to watch. APAC, EU, NA. Has he got any more here? Three is another play on the outside. Tommy, all right. Zuma, damn it. Nice little drop shot action. Yeah, this this hard point on. I think this is Ramaza. He, wait. I was going to say, if he knifes another person, that is just all out disrespectful. Shout out to the Stallion, man. Remember this one. I remember this one. Oh! Nice little lineup there from Shocks. Colchin. Look at the information he's getting his team right now. There's That's nasty. That is nasty. Oh, but he dated the third one? What? My goodness. That's gonna be Jay Captain starting on lower. He intends to the team if you're able to fight too. Might be a third. Oh, he caught him. Get all three. Caught him mid reload. What map is this? Oh, this was like one of the DLC maps they added. Oh, dude, I remember watching this freaking out. I remember that moment for Bose. Why did I forget? Like, we had all of these things in the game. Like, I know that the Annihilator existed. It's just like when you watch Black Ops 4, you're almost like caught off guard because you're like, oh my gosh, like, the amount of HP that they have. Like, I almost forget that we had specials, like, that the Annihilator exists. Goodness sake, man. I miss that. I really do. I miss the specialist. I miss all that. Those abilities, different things like that. Jetpacks? I don't know. Up and down on it. A lot of people love the jetpacks. Goodness. That's Saga royalty right there, ladies and gentlemen. For anybody who knew who that guy was. This was actually a really fun s &D map. Is this Crusher? No, this isn't Crusher. There's something else. But I remember this s &D map. And I love... It's probably one of my favorite s &D maps that I've ever casted. What? No shot! No shot, Zero. Because if he finds another one, that might be the best play of... Or one of the best plays so far. Throw some respect on Karma's name, by the way. Everybody's like, oh yeah, you know, he was good, like... And the boots on the ground type of cause. No, this guy was doing it. And jetpacks too. Oh. Okay. I know, I know exactly what this hard point is. This to me is one of my favorite endings to a hard point ever. Ow. Ow. MC. This is why this guy should be a flex. That is why this guy should be a flex, not a main. Oh my gosh. Young rookie? Wait, was he? He wasn't a rookie this year, was he? I don't know. 
Oh, this is legendary. Legendary. Can we look at what is happening on... Well, you guys can actually see the mini-map right here. I apologize for that. You know, we're, we're, it's our first reaction video. But the fact that there is literally four people on this objective, he makes his way and kills every single one of them is wild it is absolutely wild and it's 249 one of the best plays in cod history man one of the best plays in cod history this is this is just insane this is wild he has no idea where they're coming from shot punch what's up wee man Woo. Or the game, or the game. No shy. Oh my. Oh my. That was a great snap. Holy cow. 1v3. Pulls in the glide. See you, Salt. That, that is beautiful. That literally is such a beautiful round. That's somebody who's just knows exactly what's happening at all times. Oh, line him up, Zuma. Yeah, if you can break that oh, garage no, shell, that's Krim. important. Crim6 also gonna be nading teammates in the back now. I will say be... this is UMG DC. I, it's so weird. Like I just instantly look at like the graphics for some reason. I instantly know what this event is. This is my second ever event uh that I was able to cast at. Third event that I ever went to, I'm pretty sure, uh, was this tournament. And I was, as you can imagine, nervous out of my mind. I, I don't this is not me casting, but I remember watching this from uh the crowd, probably terrified of what my next series is going to be hoping to probably praying that they wouldn't call me up to the main stage to be honest Ooh. oh did he just pop reactive all right I'll be, I'll be honest we're doing another one like we're doing part one and part two of this i'll have both of these videos linked in the description i'm having a great time this is fun this is fun some more iw action earlier on this weekend it is right here on baseball a full 40 seconds here would be a major difference it really would and you know matt and i were talking about this just holding down from the back man the definition of the main ar oh Man, that is what makes formal so nasty dude the fact that he could be a main ar but yet get involved the same way as an smg and this is just a legendary clip just a legendary clip as like a as a commentator it's really weird to hear bryce and maven commentate together just because they're both play-by-plays and that's just how it was you know back in the day up until like I don't know, three or four years ago where we had like a designated no question about it analyst alongside of a play-by-play -play. it's always weird to like hear those mixtures back uh you know years ago insane the fact that he gets the kill as well at the very end do you guys miss blitz i don't know do you guys miss blitz i don't think i do but it's definitely entertaining to watch somehow whittles his way out of an awkward spot stays alive as well teammates winning the gunfight also when toby got his first chance in toronto for toronto and he just took over a seven spree for him right now and he was the lone man in and around construction while Camion was hanging outside the hill if he didn't pick up the first three piece they would have got oh he watched him spawn he saw him spawn he saw him spawn give him the 10 he's gonna get it stays alive ben they're not even shooting at oh he keeps it going he flipped the spawns yeah this is just i mean i'm sure that toronto won this map i there's there's no way Toronto right loses this map, surely. And, and it's all because of that play. The spawn slip again? Shows that he takes one massive moment, and he can turn anything around here as Kleenex isn't done just yet. Number 12 and 13 could be served on a platter. There is the player to That's the insane. Great calls for Ben as well. Wait. You're just on one player's POV the whole time. This is now Cold War Cammy. Cold War Cammy. I didn't know. No I forgot about this play. That was disgusting. Cold War Cammy was a different beast. Yeah, this is just one of the most legendary plays ever. Like anytime you look at like some of the best highlights in COD history, this play is going to be on there. 
I might have saw this live. Yeah, so close to even more score tricks. If he drops back, getting hype, tries to fight for screaming a little bit, you know. He gets him anyway, taken out. Name was that one. He's not done just yet, trying to earn something worse. See that Scorpion was just. In the right hands, that gun was absolutely terrifying. Oh, it's the 1v5. I already know. Like, this is just unacceptable. Like, this is just unacceptable if your EG and Timmy Phantoms is like, no, I'm getting out. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna, like, give this guy the highlight. 30 seconds now on the clock. Phantoms versus Looney. Like, how does this Looney unfold? Looney the read. The, the read for the fifth Looney. player. That was insane. Oh, that's a toss. And so has to reposition Please tell me this is the cami second. play. Come out and yes, it is. This is the cami numbers. play. Cammy, those gotten three. Cammy with all One of the most impressive do? plays so of now. all time. Of all time. Cammy with the A. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Up next. This is the one right here. So I was actually at this event. I know I stopped it right before it happens. I was at this event and I saw this happen in front of my eyes and I literally probably shrieked. Like I probably shrieked watching this happen. I mean, just watch this. It's also 5v5. And then not only does Dashy pull off one of the craziest plays ever, like moments later, like a minute later, Tee just goes and do, does this. Like, absolutely snapping. Crowd was amazing. I mean, casting's fantastic. Give him number seven. Love that. Champs demands call. Champs demands it. I love that for Miles. Oh! <laughs> okay. You can see him through walls, but you can't. The reaction from Tobias was mad right there. Yeah, we, we know exactly where you are. This is when uh, Singularity upset Envy. One of the craziest upsets we've seen in COD Champs history. Oh, oh yep. Yep. This is Havoc. 1v4, I think. This is impressive, too. It's not just a 1v4. It's literally a 1v4 versus the Optic Dynasty in, like, prime form. Like, in their prime... Like, World War II, for example, where you maybe you give you a little bit of a pass there or something. But just straight up impressive. This was UMG Dallas, the first event that I ever commented. I know I talked about UMG DC. This is the first event that I was ever at. Havoc has to do the impossible right now. I think I was casting like on Bravo at the time and just heard everybody erupting. And for good reason. It's a 1v1. Havoc versus Formal. Both players, the last remaining. Who's going to get the ace for their team? Havoc beginning to check this police building. He rotates around. Spot Oh, my God. Havoc, you absolute savage. Everybody just has the quick reaction. Like, is he going to get the defuse? Yes, he does. A 1v4 with bomb down versus the Optic Gaming Dynasty. Inside of the booths. Guarantee he was hearing everything from the crowd there. There's also UMG Dallas. Optic versus Envy. That's disgusting. This is from the same game? Oh, this is just the same. Same teams, very next event. That is insane from Aqua. Oh my gosh, he was able to miss that punch and Aqua had Optics he number, I guess, during this little rivalry of these two events. Goodness sake. Off the second place with the revenge so back in AW. Everybody forgets so about that. Everybody forgets about that. And BZ was just absolutely terrifying. His teammates can now give him a little bit of support. Believe every year, but especially in W. Like that's the thing that's maybe the scariest thing about Atlanta phase moving to next year is the fact that BZ can do this next year, dude. They can do this at MW2. How 
no one traded that i will never know just a such fast reactions on a mission such good awareness he's snapping what oh my gosh i miss uplink man i miss uplink so much get a feel for how this one started to go you don't really get a lot of information from the first hard point really on any map but so far what i can tell huge right there is infused is hanging tough right this is chance this is the usa versus eu clan tag type things no this is gfinity this is gfinity classic is shredding right now maven on a six streak he's gonna get taken out from behind but he did a great job he did oh my gosh shot and black ups three i i know this is gonna be nasty that's just that's just beautiful now Looney begins to push in. He's in the two piece as well. A perfect pitch from Envy. But Zuma is still alive. You see, he's so cracked. He's like, wait, I think someone's behind us. That, that's a teammate. Okay. The fact that, okay. How did he not see that guy right there? Holy. You can see a lot of pressure, but already Envy has three kills. Hippie just trying to stay alive. Pick up two. Hippie, okay. Hippie! I don't remember Hippie at all. That was cracked, apparently. Very cracked. Oh, wow. Ben just got gunned. That's and just that's one kill, Vito. like that the aim assist good, just leading into the others. All just him Look at that, like it just guides him almost. Him Still a very impressive match? shot, but just, just such good shots kills are there. But now it's just wild timing. 1v3. Looney goes down, 1v2. Big tags. Octane's got to chase him down to get these kills. CDL so stream quality was chalked Illy that day. Though, All right. <laughs> Fair oh enough, God. I guess. Is he still good? Oh, my God. Illy's still good. Oh, man. What is happening? Octane. No way. Something. He's just shot. Oh, my Illy. Oh, wow. In the name of Dallas. <laughs> Jeez, man. All right, guys, that's going to do it uh, for this reaction video. You just saw it. The most cracked plays in Call of Duty history. Part one and part two done and dusted. Let me know what plays you guys would like to see me react to next. More videos, things of that nature. Make sure to put them down in the comments. But thank you so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys back on the channel very soon.